Nissan did something really bold with the current generation Navara, introducing a type of suspension more akin to passenger cars that was designed to be comfortable and practical. But do you know what? It didn't really work. So the brand has gone back to the drawing board, bringing out the Navara Series 2, a car that's designed to be more practical for tradies and more comfortable for families. Changes to the Navara range are largely reserved for dual cap models like this one, and they're difficult to spot. You won't find new alloy wheels or rework bumpers. It's all under the skin. And even then, there are no new engines or transmissions. It's all a matter of fine-tuning that suspension. But the important question is how the Navara drives. Now, we've had the opportunity to sample this car in a variety of conditions and with a variety of loads in the back. Some cars had nothing whatsoever in the tray. Some cars had around 300 kilograms of water. And right now, we're towing what I'd call a fairly compact caravan behind the car. Now we're heading up a fairly steep hill and you can hear that the engine is working pretty hard. The car that we're driving right now has a twin turbocharged turbo diesel four cylinder engine that makes 140 kilowatts of power and 450 newton meters of torque, pushing it currently to the rear wheels through a seven speed automatic transmission. But of course there's high range four wheel drive and low range four wheel drive if you need them. Now on the road you immediately notice some of the changes they've made to the Navara. First is that the car is a fair bit stiffer in the rear than it used to be. Now if you don't have a load in, that means that it is a little bit jiggly. You can feel it just have a bit of nervousness over bumps and things like that that perhaps wasn't quite as present in the previous car. But the trade-off is that it is better with a load in the back. With around 300 kilos to settle the rear end, it does feel quite well planted on the road. The big question that we have to ask though is how this car handles a heavy load. Now previous testing that drivers has done has revealed the Navara is quite weak with more than about 500 kilos in the tray. It can actually sit down on these rubber bungs that serve as bump stops throughout the car, which really did make us quite nervous the first time that we put a decent load into one of these. Another thing that you notice in the Navara immediately is the steering, which has not changed from the previous model, which is to say that the steering in this car is quite slow and a little bit heavy at low speeds. Now that means that it feels quite stable when you're out on the road, not exaggerating your driving inputs, but it also means that it's a lot of work to maneuver this car around at low speed, much more so than something like the revised Holden Colorado. The somewhat limited nature of Nissan's launch means that I just can't give this car a definitive verdict, at least for today. When we put the Navara through a test on our own terms, we'll have a lot more than 300 kilograms in the tray, and it will be fascinating to see how it handles that. But what we can say, at least until then, is that it's good to see Nissan addressing an important issue. The new Navara is on sale now.